Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and this is a very important surgeon question and answer session all about pain management after heart valve surgery. I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Mark Gerdish, who is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Franciscan Health in Indianapolis, Indiana. During his fantastic career, Dr. Gerdish has performed over 6,000 cardiac procedures of which more than 4,000 involve some form of heart valve repair or heart valve replacement. Dr. Gerdish, I am really excited about this conversation because one thing I know as a patient and talking with thousands of patients over the years is that pain and the concern of pain after a heart valve surgery is front and center to most patients' mind. I understand that you are doing some fascinating things there at Franciscan Health in Indianapolis, Indiana, specific to pain management. Can you talk about that? We have really focused on pain management. Um, it's been a journey over several years, actually, and part of our entire enhanced recovery after cardiac surgery program, where we address everything from nutrition to breathing techniques. And part of that for us was, how do we take the barrier of discomfort and immobility out of heart surgery? Because when you think about it, the difference between uh, something that's done up with a catheter versus having open heart surgery is the incision, right? So in the incision, most people aren't that concerned about the length of the incision or whatever. And in fact, as you know, most of our valve operations, we do through a small incision between the ribs. But when we have to do a reoperation, when we have to do multiple valves, when we have to do really big operations, we have to do that through a sternotomy. So we went at this as a topic of absolute necessity that we would change the experience postoperatively for people. This dovetails into, as you know, there's been a very strong push nationally to get away from the use of opioids. And we never liked using opioids because not only are they addicting, but they cause constipation, obstipation, foggy head. So we have actually made incredible progress in this. Using our techniques for minimally invasive with nerve block, for sternotomy with what we call erector spinae blocks and rigid sternal fixation, we have driven our use of opioids down 87% for inpatient use, for sternotomy patients, 87%. And only 10% of those patients go home with an opioid prescription. And with minimally invasive, it is zero. We don't use opioids for them. They don't have them at discharge. So we have completely changed the game. Now, not only does it mean they're not getting the opioids and it means that they're more comfortable because the drive to decrease opioids, the premise should really be, how do we get rid of the pain? How do we get rid of the problem? In addition to that, mobility is dramatically improved. So people who have rigid fixation of their sternum not only are much more comfortable, but we let them use their arms. The day after surgery, they can lift 15 pounds. They can lift 20 pounds when they leave. People go home, able to get in and out of their chair and in and out of their whatever they need to do. Now, a downstream consequence of that was for the frailer patients who might otherwise go to an extended care facility. We cut that by two thirds. So where 30% of patients used to go to some type of extended care facility, now only 10% go. So even our frailer patients, the folks who really want to be home, but they have to go to one of these extended care facilities, they go home. So all of those things come together. And it really at the center of it was pain management. How do we make the pain go away? And as a consequence, how do we improve mobility and give people back their lives faster? And as a consequence, all of the great psychological impacts that go along with just going back to your life. So uh, we've been super enthusiastic about it. We have so enjoyed it and our patients have enjoyed it. Dr. Gerdish, it, it almost sounds unbelievable the results that you're getting there. Can you talk about the results that your patients are seeing because of this new approach to pain management? It does seem unbelievable. Sometimes I can't believe it, but patients show me all the time. And what they get out of it is they, they get their lives back. It's, it's really important that we understand not only on the short end, but on the long end. When people have a sternotomy, about 20% of people have some long-term consequence. It might be pain, instability, something related to that. 
So what we do is an orthopedic repair of the bone to ensure that it fully heals. In doing so, the bone is completely stabilized from day one, which means they can use their arms and go back to their full activities. And so patients are golfing, bowling, hitting fast pitch in a few to several weeks. It has changed the recovery process entirely. Dr. Gerdish, I cannot thank you enough for your dedication to thinking about this from the patient's perspective, in particular to pain management. Because I can tell you as a patient, that was not the fun part of heart surgery. So thanks for getting your patients back on their feet in the short term and the long term. And this goes out to your entire team there at Franciscan Health in Indianapolis, Indiana. Thank you so much. Thank you, Adam. And you're right, it is a team. We have everybody involved, physical therapy, respiratory therapy, the nursing staff, they all understand this early mobilization and getting people out and back to their lives. Thanks for having me.